Hello, welcome to this video on taking a look at all the changes Ideal have made to their Logic Max range of boilers. Let's stop waffling and let's just get on with it. Now if we start on the front of the boiler you can see there is now only two control knobs and a bigger colour screen. And if we go to the top of the boiler, the gasket inside for sealing the turret or the flue is now permanently fixed inside the boiler. They've moved the pressure gauge now to behind the flap. Now there's also been some big changes underneath. Now the pipe orientation has stayed the same. So from left to right, it's still uh, flow, hot out, gas, cold and return but the condensate and the blow off has changed. So you can see the blow off has been moved here to the left hand side from the right hand side and the condensate has gone from the middle to again the left hand side. You can also see now there is a special clip or a quick coupling now for the blow off where the pipe just slides in and the clip holds it in. So they're the big changes underneath. Now one of the smaller changes they've made underneath the boiler is they've now colour coded the two different levers for the filling loop. The one now on the return is green. Now let's take this front cover off and lower the control panel and look at the changes inside. First of all if we start off at the top it looks like the old fan but it's changed. It's a lot quieter than the old one but made by the same people. Also the heat exchange has had a few changes. The flame rectification is gone. It's now all in one. So flame rectification, flame conductance is in now one thing. Also the spark generator has changed. They're now using the spark generator that comes with the Vogue. If we look a bit lower down now you can see the gas valve is not there. It's now moved to the bottom of the boiler which ideal now say is a safety feature so you've only got one connection inside the boiler not two like it used to do said people were leaving leaks now the condensate trap has moved slightly over from middle to left and it's now got a new clip to hold it in so if you twist it to the left this little tab here then comes out from the casing of the boiler which holds it in so it's a quick turn lift out and it comes out incredibly easy also down at the bottom now you can see the pressure relief valve has moved from the right hand side of the boiler to this left hand side. So it's just removed this clip and it literally just pulls straight out. It's as easy as that. And you can now see there is a swaged end on the pipe which is about 12-13 uh, millimetres and it will slot inside the 15 and then that rubber collar down at the bottom and the clamp will hold it in. Now they've also changed the electrical side, so on this left hand side now we've got the high voltage connections which you can see are just terminal blocks and on the right hand side of the boiler now is the connections for the weather compensation and the open therm connection at low voltage. So that's the changes to the electrical connections at the bottom. Other major changes on the electrical side are the thermistors. So there used to be one hot water thermistor here at the top of the heat exchanger and a thermistor a dry pocket one on the right hand side here on the return pipe above the pump. Now they have three wet pocket thermistors. The first one is here just on the flow pipe then there's one down here on the cold water and then one here on the back of the pump on the return. Now the reason why they've got three wet pocket for misters now is to make it safer and so they can have preheated water coming into the boiler. Now let's look at the changes of the control panel. The first big change is the preheat. So instead of it being a manual control, it's now on this control panel and it's a smart preheat. Meaning basically it learns whether it needs to be on or off depending on what you're up to. Now the dials have also changed, so instead of having three, we've got two, and they don't actually stop. The reason why they've done that is so they don't get snapped off by the public. Keep turning them around or trying to turn them around once they get to the stops. So they will just spin round and adjust everything what you can see on the screen. Now another introduction to this new panel is the cooling mode which basically allows you when you come to service the boiler to run the pump, run the boiler but it won't fire the boiler up so it will cool the heat exchanger and the water set down for you so you can service the boiler. 
Another new feature is the condensate trap priming where basically you can fill the trap from the boiler rather than just pouring water down the flue. And the last section on the screen is maximum flow temperature. You can use the flow button here to set the maximum flow temperature so we can actually adjust it to 72 degrees or 55 degrees to comply with the building regs and it will stop the customer turning the knob and trying to increase the flow temperature. It will also keep this green icon on here which is a leaf to say it's set in eco mode so no matter what they do turning this knob it will not adjust the eco mode unless you go into that setting and adjust it manually. And that's my quick look at the changes Ideal have made to their Logic 2 max range of boilers. Hope you liked the video. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.